Well, it's pretty messed up when you think about it that some uh, EU countries, uh, governments within Europe, uh, seemingly disturbed by the idea of the elected German government actually seeking to control their borders a bit more, as much as they can do within the European Union, which of course is all about freedom of movement, open borders, hence why the UK was absolutely right to leave. Uh, but Germany, the German government attempting to respond to the strong wishes of German voters by tightening border controls to try and stop illegal migration. But of course, to some, the idea of nation state and border controls and actually uh, doing what's in the national interest is old hat for some uh, who are very pro-EU. And this is, of course, a left-wing government led by the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who's actually under huge political pressure because German voters are outraged at weak borders uh, for Germany. And so, you know, he's trying to, it seems, go back on uh, some of the Angela Merkel legacy, though it seems like it could be all too late for him and his party. But as I said, pretty messed up that within the European Union, you know, other countries outraged by Germany simply wanting stronger borders. And you've had the Belgians, for instance, uh, being described as puzzled and displeased just because Germany wants to bring back uh, some form of border controls. And when you look to Poland, uh, the Prime Minister there, Donald Tusk, not happy that Germany has dared to actually attempt to listen to voters at least and install some form of border control, though of course they still have EU open borders. And you have uh, Donald Tusk slamming Germany's border checks. So seemingly this is unacceptable inside the European uh, Union that it amounts to a de facto suspension of the Schengen Agreement on a large scale. And you've got the uh, Prime Minister there saying from the Polish point of view, this type of action is unacceptable and that Poland will reach out to other countries affected by Berlin's decision for urgent consultations on how to act on the EU forum on this issue and that he hopes in the spirit of the European Union, we will talk about it. So there you go, acting in the national interest, attempting to put in place some form of border controls because voters in your country are absolutely outraged by what's been going on and you're the elected government. That now causes uh, condemnation within the European Union. It all underlines why Brexit was absolutely uh, correct and why we need a government in this country actually maximising Brexit competitive advantage by putting in place proper border controls, reducing migration, uh, leaving the ECHR and stopping the boats. Let me know what you make of all of that in the comments below though, please guys. I will of course keep bringing you all the latest on this and much more. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up and of course as ever, cheers for watching.